I do want to make you aware of some things we do, and that is good vocal technique starting with breathing. So we did this in the band room, uh, in for two, out for six, just going shh, <coughs> just to get the air going. We're going to skip right to just one step past that to talking about the space in the mouth. And we've been learning about uh, the jaw being relaxed and the soft palate being up. And that's what this next exercise, this first one, is for. The soft palate, if you don't know where that is, if you close your mouth and run your tongue up along the roof of your mouth, when it changes from hard to soft, before the uvula, the hanging thing in the back of your mouth, that's the soft palate. And if you yawn, it raises. And that's the beginning of good vocal technique, going, Ooh. everybody do that. Ready, go. Oh. Oh. Yawn beautifully, singing is the next step. This is an exercise to get the soft palate up. Thumbs up. Now they're not giving you a thumbs up. They're actually uh, thinking of pushing that soft palate up when they sing. So go. Once things are nice and relaxed and tall and open, the voice is free, the jaw is free, the mouth is free, to let the vocal cords do their thing. So relaxation is what it's all about there. Uh, we also have been working on music reading things, and uh, the foundation for good music reading and singing is do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. It's not just a song from The Sound of Music, it's a whole reading system. So uh, we're going to do something with that now to build chords and get the kids thinking about Listening to each other being one part of four different notes being sung at the same time. So we'll do a scale going up and down, and then they're going to stop on different notes of the scale just to get used to this idea of singing in chords and in harmony. Uh, when we get that idea of how to listen for each other and tune it up, that just happens faster and faster throughout the year. And hopefully you'll hear in December, and then in March, and then in June, at our concerts, the level of improvement with really just getting those chords full, big, and in tune. So with uh, no further <coughs> delay, we will jump into our first piece. Uh, it is called Da Pachem Domine, which means grant us peace in our days. And there are four soloists on this piece. They are Amelia Bellows, Christy Workman, Jonah Ediger and Owen Mansfield. This is Da Pachem Domine.
Our next piece we'd like to do for you is our worker piece, we're calling it. You will see, this is the beginning stages of this piece, and in December, if you come to the choir concert, which approximately half of you for sure will, because we've got kids up here right now, uh, you will see that we will just tonight have a little bit of piano and the singers. We will be adding a dance group to that because it's an Irish piece called The Little Beggar Man, and it just begs for an Irish dance group to be in there. We will also have Irish percussion instruments with it, and you'll see it just kind of take, tra take, uh, take transformation a little bit here, and you'll see the completed product in December. I need to wheel the piano out, so give me just a moment. tune it and I'm going to hand the reins over to Mrs. Xander. This is The Little Beggar Man. Thank you. 